Hi everyone. One of my friends asked in my course Web Server IS Mastery course about how he can get how much requests is coming on his website on his IES server. You can see his, like, his question here. Hi, what counter shall I use to calculate the number of requests coming on my website? In this small video, I will show you how you can monitor your IS web server for about for an interval of time, like maybe 30 days, 15 days, and then you can get your data back and show and see the graph and see the get requests and how many requests are coming to your server. So you can analyze it for maybe scaling later on or maybe resizing your server resources and so on. So let's start together. Here I have an IS server and let's go and open performance monitor. Just search for perf p e r f mon which is performance monitor sorry and here we are performance monitor let's open it and here performance monitor if you click here on this monitoring tools let's maximize it performance monitoring here it will give you real time values so you can see here I am monitoring my processor time counter and it's in real time. You can add counters here as I explained in the monitoring section of the course. And by the way, if you would like to learn more about IS and enroll in my mastery course, you can get the link from the description below. Here I have my counters. You can see here, you can add counters if you want, like the DPC time, the interrupt time add it and we will see also in the counters below here you can set another color as we let's say blue and you can see now the blue and the red colors here in my graph now i want to collect data for an interval of time so how to do this simply let's go to data collector sets here and go to user defined right click and click on new data collector set let's name it is get requests and create manually and click on next and here in the data logs let's set performance counter and click on next and let's add a counter since i'm monitoring my local computer i will keep it here local you can also monitor a remote pc if you want let's now go down to what we call web service and here we can see the get requests per second we can select a default website or one of your websites here or you can select the total get requests on all your websites just click on total and click on add and click ok very nice so now we are monitoring our get requests to our server with this data collector you can set the sample interval on which this counter will be collected i will set to every 15 second will get this value and click on next next and you can set the user you want to run this collector with maybe you have a dedicated user for using with performance monitoring or maybe you are monitoring a remote pc you want to use a credentials that authenticate to that remote server or pc now let's save and close and click on finish and here we have IS get request data collector just right click and click on start and now this collector will be running and collecting data over an interval of time i will pause the video and come back after about five minutes so we have some data to read in our reports okay here i am back let's now stop this counter or this data collector click on stop and now let's go to reports expand it user defined and you can see our is get requests data collector here let's open it and we have the first report let's open it and now you can see we have no get requests on our on my server but you can see you can open this and for an interval of time it's 12 25 pm 12 26 12 27 12 29 you will see the graph representing your counter in this interval of time I hope this lecture was helpful for you. If you need any help, you have questions, please let me know. I will be waiting for your questions. Thank you for following. 
If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to like the video and to press on the bell for notifications. You can also view our other lectures. Thank you and see you in other videos.